Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and new gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Menix. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing part three of my new player guide. We're going to be looking at bunkers and prism. So this dude here, you're going to get it, boy. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is going to go through the bunkers. So we hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to take that pointer and tickle that like button for us really does help us out and don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them and um, it really does help us out we've now got the join button with members joining which gives you access to priority replies on comments as well as emojis and badges uh, as the channel grows we won't be able to keep um, answering replies back to comments in the in the chats and stuff so that will help with that and and also supports our channel more also, if you're new to um, Star Citizen, the code dropping down at the moment. If you use that code, you'll be able to um, set up a free account with RSI and, and get 5,000 credits when you do buy the game. And will also push me up in the rankings as well. So yeah, so use that code if you can. And in the description um, of each video, you'll see um, the join button, the join link, as well as Discord link that you can join. And you can join Discord. Uh, get on the Discord with those guys and maybe you'll find people on there that you can play with in your region and uh, build up this community as well. So, yes, yeah, so we hope you like this one, guys, and um, let's get into it. So, first things first. So, in part one, I showed you about the game and ships and melting ships and, and all that stuff and then your first movements and basically uh, controlling your ship. Then the second one, I showed you get doing your first missions the box, mission, box missions and looting and selling the loot and stuff like that so what we're going to do in this one is we're going to talk about bunkers and i'm going to do a bunker mission which is you can do instead of the box missions or after the box missions but with this one you need guns and stuff like that because it's all about first person this and at the end of it you'll also see me go to prison as well so yeah so what we need to do is we need to pick up some guns and some ammo and armor and stuff like that. So what we've got to do here is um, start sorting out guns and armor. So what we're going to look at here is we're going to look at our attachment points on our person. So we, as you stand when you first start the game, you've got basically one attachment point for a gun and a couple of attachment points for ammo and a couple of attachment points for like the red things, the. Um, med pens as you see there uh, and there's your pistol there so you've got the attachment for the pistol as well so when you add different armor you can you'll get more attachments um I, I don't have any other armor so i'll have to go and buy some in a minute and show you how uh, about buying armor you can pick armor up and stuff like that but um what i'll do is i'll go over there and show you armor in a minute So just going through my things and so I've got a couple of weapons here and you can see I can put one on but I can't put a second one on I can uh, basically only carry one on my back and um, so you would need a bodysuit to be able to carry more than one uh, sort of like a chest uh, chest plate it's called and once you've got it you'll be able to um, have like a separate section further over so if you go to this little menu here and you click this it's going to show you all your attachment points so at the top you've got uh, arm, armor and then you've got your med pens down here at the bottom and then you've got your pistol here at the side and you can put like um, a med gun there and then you've got one attachment point on the back there for um, adding a big gun there once you've got armor on the right on the left hand side it will open up for you to add stuff to the to the left hand side as well so basically that's how you would start and then um, if you want to buy armor or pick up armor, you can go and do that. So let's go and buy some armor first. Just have a look at that. And there's a couple of ways you can buy. You can buy it off the rack here. You can go onto it and see how you can do it. You can buy the undersuit. And as you move around, um, so I'll cancel that. As you move around, you see there's the helmet, there's the core. And then you've got the undersuit there, the core there. The legs are down here and then the arms over here and you can buy them all separate and then you've got the backpack and the helmet there or you can come over to this little kiosk thing here and you can buy them in here so 
into Hi, into 18 at the moment we're having some issues with the kiosks but this should be sorted um if you um like well into 318 being released this should already be sorted so we'll pick armor and then we'll go through the different armors here so i'm going to look at this twilight one here and i'll just do quick buy on that and like i said we're having some issues with the uh, terminals so it just might take a little bit of time just to grab it so we've got that now and then what we'll need to do is grab some arms and some legs so i'll grab this twilight one here quick buy that and again we'll just have to wait for this terminal to sort itself out takes a little bit of time when with with this uh, new update it must be something to do with the servers so as you see here um it did actually buy the legs um so that's good so if i grab this armor and put this on this chest plate you can either grab it and drag it or you can just double click it and that you see now gives me more attachment points for for armor two attachment points for guns up top and more attachment points for um the med pens and stuff and so i'll drag that off if i can just grab that off i'll double click the legs put them on and you see with the legs um i've got more attachment points now for the med pens and stuff like that as well so by having these on then you can see how um you can have more attachment points but also you'll see on the side as well that it's got um rating for temperature as well so they have ratings for temperature and um stopping power so i'm having some issues here with this um with the server so i'm going to take off my helmet and take off the legs take off the armor so basically when you are looting somebody you can grab the undersuit and if you if you haven't got anything on you can double click the undersuit and it will put everything that that person has on you including every, including this the armor and stuff like that so keep that in mind with the undersuit um you can basically put everything on in one go and you don't have to do it all separately like that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get these arms in a second and put the arms on and then we'll have to go over and buy a gun So with armor like this, you see this, this box here, this means basically that it's got more storage as you see over on the left hand side. So if I put that on, you see that, that on the left hand side there, basically that's your storage for that. But if I click this button here, it will open up at the bottom here so I can open them legs um, storage there. So if I put them on and attach something to it, like that, not actually doing it that way won't work. If I take them off, it's just going to put everything back into my inventory, as you see there. So the, that that will be empty still. But if I put them on and put in something in the legs compartment, yeah, it won't have that. So if I take this red thing and drop that in the legs compartment, that is now inside the legs compartment. It's not on these here. It's actually inside the legs compartment itself. So if I was to take these legs off, you'll see now my red thing doesn't show. So I'd have to click the little uh, box here to bring up the compartment section of the legs to see what's in the legs is when it comes up with this thing there you go so opening that compartment of legs you see there's the the red med pen thing so when you go to sell stuff always make sure that you've checked the pockets like putting your clothes in the wash always make sure you check the pockets and any attachments and stuff like that because there might be stuff in there that you want to keep basically so if i go to quick sell that uh, on the picture uh, so not quick sell sorry go to the picture and then hit sell normally what you'll have here is like any attachments and stuff or anything that's in the attachments of the guns um so like say if i was selling a med gun and it's got the green attachment in it then that will show the so what i need to do is buy these arms buy these twilight arms do a quick buy on that again just having a couple of issues it's taking a bit of time just 
just just got to wait it out. I don't want to end up cancelling too soon. Smart buy. So there we go. He confirms now we just bought that. So them, them are there now. And so you see now I've got the armor, the chest armor, the legs armor, the arms armor, and I'm just going to stick my old helmet on. That's not my character, by the way. I don't know why my character's changed. My character is normally a girl with gray hair, but for some reason it's changed. So you can see now I can put two guns on. Well, I have to spin myself around, get this attachment point right, keep swapping my guns around. Just need to spin myself around more, and I can see there now you can have two guns on your back, and you can actually carry one as well. And then you've got our ammo and these med pens. So these med pens, I can have four on the legs and three on the upper torso, and I can have armor. I can have uh, ammo. Sorry, I can have six lots of ammo here that I can drop in. And as you see, there's seven stacks of ammo on this. So now I've got the six stacks in my chest, and I've got five stacks still left here, as you see. So if I wanted to break this down, because I wanted to leave some here and just take some with me in my chest plate, um, what you can do is you have to go onto the ammo itself and right-click. So I don't want to take all that there. I just want to just want to take a couple. So you right-click it, and down here at the bottom, you have a split. And what you'll do is you'll click on the split and press split, and then that'll split it. So I've got three in two now. So I can leave three here and take two with me, so that when the ones on my chest plate run out, I can replace them with these ones. So another thing to remember as well is we've got 40 bullets in this gun, in this in these um, ammo clips here. When you shoot. Say you shoot 20 bullets and you've got 20 left in your clip. If you hit reload, it'll just put in a brand new clip of 40. And you'll see the dots around the number there shows how many bullets you've got left. So if you've got 20 bullets left and you reload, that extra, that clip with 20 bullets in won't be another clip of 40 where it's just uh, taking the, how many bullets you've got together. It will literally... Um, be 20 bullets so if you then end up putting that clip back in it will still Hi. only have 20 bullets uh, let me know if there's anything i can help so you with. if you're in a fight and you've got seven bullets or something left in your clip and you end up putting that clip back in your gun you're going to get caught out because you've got seven bullets left in it and it's not it's not like in cod where you've got a, an amount of bullets and it doesn't matter how many times you reload um if you've say used 10 bullets in each clip then every clip you put in is going to be 10 bullets short so you've got to keep an eye on that. That's one thing to remember. And you'll see um, those little dots going around. You'll stay basically show how many bullets you've got left in it and whether it's a half empty clip. Also in your compartments here, you'll see we've got like a capacity. So trying to put stuff in like that chest plate won't, it's too big, too much capacity. So you see it's 1,137% capacity. So I'm not going to be able to put that in. So you've got to keep an eye on your capacity of the stuff like backpacks and stuff like that. Whereas here at the thing, it was uh, 10, um, you know, 1 million or whatever it was. So keep an eye on your capacity as well of stuff you've got. So that's that done with the armor. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the um, guns section. And places you can buy guns are all the L places. So um, L... L1, Arc L1, Arc L2, you know, all these with the L's, L's numbers on it, they'll all have places to buy personal weapons. The other places is in um, Microtech, uh, New Babbage is a place where you can buy it. And the other place as well is in um, uh, 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 Port Olisar in Cru the Crusader area. And the other place is, as well is Area 18 in Arcor. So them are the places where you can buy weapons, your personal weapons. So um, you may have to go to a space station or you may have to go down to Microtech or Area 18 or Port Olisar. You can't get anything from Hurston. So if you're at Hurston, you'll have to go to either her L1 or Crew L1. And um, yeah, so just to remember that you have to buy your weapons from somewhere. You only have to go in with one. You could even just go in with your pistol and then pick up guns while you're down there. But just keep an eye on that. So, going into the gun shop, you can either buy guns off the rack or you can buy them here at these terminals. Now, there's different size um, attachments you can have for these guns. So, some guns will have uh, um, size 2s and some will have size 1s and some will have size 3s. So, if we look here, you see this one has got uh, size 1, size 1, size 1. 
whereas this AR has got size 2, size 2, size 2. So if you want an attachment, you've got to make sure it's the right size. So that's uh, something to keep an eye on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a weapon and attachments and stuff like that. You go to uh, personal weapons and then attachments and then you can see here that these, when you click them, will have a size on it. So that fly, flash hider there is a size 2. And so you just go through. You can even search. So if I wanted ammo, I could say P8 for the P8 ammo. Someone's just got blown up. That side. So I'm going to have a look on the rack as well. So you see here, we've got the two points. I've got two of the same guns here. And someone's absolutely getting smashed outside. So I've got two of the same guns here. So I could buy another gun, another weapon. Uh, so the size two that I've got, and uh, I've got a P4. So if I want P4 ammo, I'll click that. Either quick buy for one, or go on to the, click the picture itself, and then just buy the ammo here. Like So if I click 10, I've got 11 ammo that, that I can buy. And that, that's that successfully bought. I think you're going to be happy with that. Me too. So yeah, so just keep an eye on your attachments and the sizes that you're buying. And uh, yeah, and just, yeah, just go from there. And remember, you can pick these things up as well. So if we go to the shelf, we can have a look. Um, that's a size two, that's an AR. Go over to this side, and you've got this AR here with the flashlight, so it's a, a P4 AR, and then you've got the size one holographic sight, which you can put on, and the flash hider there. You can get silencers and, and stuff like that as well. So, if I click the purchase of this, again, this might take a little bit of time because of the terminals being just playing up at the moment, so hopefully, it doesn't take too long to, to, to go through this. occurred so I'm having errors trying to get stuff here so it looks like I'm gonna have errors so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump this forward and, ex and explain some more later so I'll um, you can buy these attachments off the shelf and I'm gonna show you how to attach these attachments as well so I'm going to jump this forward and then we'll go from there. One second. Back now and um, got things. I, I reset the server and came back. So you see now I've got my attachment points and my different ammos on them. And I've got the gun on my back that I want. So I'm going to show you attaching these attachments. So if you want to attach something to the gun itself, you can just um, grab it from here and you can see you can just drop it onto the gun itself. Uh, it's the wrong gun. I need to change the gun. So if you grab that, I can just drop it onto the gun itself, as you see there. And then the same for dropping it, picking it off as well. You just grab it off the um, the gun and you can just drag it and drop it into your inventory. So what you can do is... What you can do is, when you go raiding and you get guns in your raids, you can throw the gun, you basically pick up the gun and you can just grab the attachments off it like the sight, the silencer and the ammo, drop them into your inventory or onto your person itself and then just throw the gun if you don't want the gun. So, because the attachments in that you can sell and they're smaller to carry than guns. So that's one thing to keep in mind is just being able to grab the attachments and dragging them off um, the, the guns themselves. But you'll learn some more of that as you go along and you're playing the game and you're doing more bunker missions. So, that's that done. Um, I had the error earlier where it gave me the arms and it's given me another pair. So, there's just some issues with the servers at the moment where things are just taking the time. 
So there's my med pen. I can go buy some med pens and that and add them to it. But I think what I need to do now is I've done enough here to show you this and what these attachments do. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this forward to get in the mission. Okay, so I've got my ship out now and I'm going to come outside and uh, pick up a mission in a minute. But before I do, there's something I do want to show you here with this armor and stuff. So now that I'm outside, I can show you. So if I put my cursor over my armor, you can see on the right hand side there that it's got, um, it's a medium armor and it's got um, an amount of what it can carry in its volume. Also, it's got a rating on its temperature. So minus uh, 91, I think that says. And uh, uh, yeah, minus, no, minus 61 to 91. So the coldest it can survive is 61 and the hottest is 91. Uh, it's a light and medium. And also it has... Um, a reduction of 30% damage so when you're getting hit so that's why you get the armors and stuff like that that you need because it just it makes it so much better so as you see here um it's messed up all my guns and my ammo and stuff like that so i need to sort of sort this out Just gonna put these on here. My attachment points. Them in there, and then what you can do is you can stack these by just dragging them onto each other, and you can stack them then, as you see there. And these have come on, so I'm gonna drop some of these here as well onto my what's it called to so make sure you've got some of them. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna split these actually, split it. Drop that one on there. And then four in there. Sorry, and drop that one on there. And that's that then. So I've got the two attachment points for that. I've got two guns, a pistol, and um, the stuff I need. So I'm looking for C2. So there's three and four. There's one and two. And I'm going to go up there to number two then. And what I need to do when I get up here is I need to pick up this mission. So there's um, Peeper Grim Reaper. And so let me pick up this mission here. I need to pick up. So this security work assessment here. So what you're going to be looking for is if it's got on it um, personnel on site or um, friendlies or something like that or protect or help, then you know that it's, you're authorized to go there. And you, when you get there, the security guns at the base won't shoot at you because you've got friendlies that have got control of the base. So them are the ones you need to be looking for. Make sure that you've got the personnel or it tells you that there's friendlies there. If you find that um, you pick up a mission where the, the, the enemies have taken over and the enemies have got control, when you come into to the base itself, you'll get a trespass in and the guns around the base will start shooting you. So always be so always be aware which one you're picking on these these um, assessments. So you're going to get 15 uh, credits for this, 1,000 credits for this, and that will come up there in a minute. Again, like I said, the servers are just a bit slow at the moment because of the new release. So while that's doing, I'm going to pick this call to arms as well in this mercenary sap. And what this call to arms will do is it will give you 500 uh, credits for every kill that you get as well as uh, from, a, from a baddie. So we'll accept that offer. And you can see there, the first one came up there, clear all hostiles thing. Don't harm allies. So make sure you have that on it. Don't harm allies. And that's, you know, your thing basically to um, to do it. And we're going to the security post on Lespin and Sailing. And you'll see now that my call to arms has come up now. And you see this little pin on it, it means that that's the one we're tracking. And so if I was to call track uh, the, the call to arms, I wouldn't be able to see the work assessment one. So just be aware of which one you're tracking. If you don't see it, maybe you're not tracking it. You just go down here and then track. And that's where you can also share as well if you want to share with people. So we're going to come off that and we're going to, um, I'm going to head over and get into, Grim, uh, into uh, People Grim Reaper. My new beautiful ship. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on. It's just a bit slow at the moment. We 
turn uh, turn her on. Does a startup Jesus sequence. And then we're gonna go up and um, start complete. sorting ourselves out here for this. I'll put my landing gear on. And then what we're looking for is the little blue marker. Not that little one there, because it's a dead person. This one I like that. That one's just a dead person floating in the, in the sky. We don't want that one. Please visit again. Right. Okay, we'll do. No problem. So let's find the um, the place we've got to go to, which is yeah, I don't know. We need to go to sailing. I think I've got to jump round, maybe. Okay, so let's jump. So if you do the box missions from the uh, last video, if you get the one that says derelict site, this is what you've got to do as well. You've got to make sure you've got some ammo and, and armor and all that stuff to be able to fight. There we go. So, let's get my bearings. To turn my ship around. It looks like it's been hit. Took some damage. That's right, so where are we going? We're going to. No, no, no. I need the little box one. So I'm going to clear this route. And then um, make sure I, I get the right one. Just reading something one second. Won't be a second. Okay, right. Need to go to my map and I need to clear. So I haven't got a crime stat, so one thing to look out for, something I didn't do and I should have done is I should have gone to near the admin office. There's like the, I've shown you in the other videos, there's the um, terminals to clear your fines and stuff like that. So when you go down to this security post on Lesbian here, if you've got a crime chat, or if you've got a fine, or it's not a help the hostiles one, uh, help the um, workers one, you will get shot at. So something I never did is I never checked before I left did I have a fine? So always try and keep that in mind. Do as I say, not as I do. That before you go out onto a security force mission like this, like a bunker mission, always go to those terminals to check if you've got um, a fine first. Because if you go down here and you've got a fine, you're going to get shot out of the sky, basically. So always remember that, and it was something that you've got to sort of get into your head as a, as a routine. I'm telling you now while you're learning, because... I've only learnt about it halfway through doing my thing when we'd been into plenty of bunkers and we was getting shot and we didn't know why we was getting shot and then it turned out it's because we had fines. So I've just got to clear that route. When you get issues like that where it doesn't show up and let you um, calibrate, it might be the, the system is stuck so we have to just clear the route and then it lets us do it. So... When we get to this place, we should be able to land and not get shot out of the sky. If we make any mistakes inside this bunker, if we make any mistakes inside this bunker and we shoot any of the friendlies, we'll instantly get a crime stat. And we will, the, if the ship is in range of the guns, the, the ship will get blown up and we will be stuck, basically. We'll have to, um, we'll have to, um, backspace and kill ourselves out of it and end up in prison or try and get someone to come and get us and then go and try and clear your crime stat i'm just checking the um people above us just like um cutty black there so yeah i just um i just turned my toby on so i could have a look around at the enemies doesn't seem to be uh, not enemies, I said, just people around. Just to make sure they're not uh, people that are going to try and kill us. 
So when it's dark, always make sure you're using your ping to see and lay the land. Just checking out my guns, make sure I've got my missiles ready. And just going to uh, head down to this this place now. So here we go, heading in. We've got a drape up in the air just above us here. Just make sure I don't go too hot. Start pulling back on my air brakes. There we go. So as you see, there's four guns around this thing. They're, they're, they're like this. And they're not shooting at us. And we're not getting the trespassing warning. So we're good to land. It means the friendlies have got control of the guns. And we can land. But like I said, be aware that these guns will blow your ship up if you get a trespassing warning. That looks like that's happened there to that little ship here at the side of us. I'll just slam this down. That's like, that's how I land. I just throw it on the floor. Jump off, and I'll do that. And you'll see, um, yeah. So there's my ship there, ready, and you'll see there there's a, a Pisces Red that's been blown up here as well. So obviously someone's been down here and ended up hit, hitting one of the guards or something. Got a trespassing warning or stayed down there too long. Because once you clear the mission, you've got 15 minutes to get back out. Or else you'll get trespassing warning and it'll blow your ship up. So, okay, let's get my gun out and... The server again has done me over. I've got no bullets and I've got the, I brought the wrong bullets for the wrong gun. Even though I sorted it out outside the space station, it didn't stay, it didn't save the configuration for some reason. So I've got no gun, but I've got a gun, but I've got no bullets. So because of that, I'm now going to have to try and find a gun when I'm down there. And so you'll have to see me basically try and pick a gun up. But this, I want to show you these things because I want you to see like some of the things that can happen and you know, I can just abandon it, get back in the ship, go back up and sort the guns out. But I'm here, so I'm going to just try and see if I can pick a gun up. And here's the first telltale sign that someone's been. These boxes here, somebody's dropped on the floor here. So obviously someone's been down here and failed, as we saw with the Pisces upstairs. So there's an enemy there. We just saw go across. I'm just having a quick look around, see if there's any boxes for ammo and armor or anything like that. So you can see upstairs the triangles of the guys, and we've got a gun here that I can pick up. A C-54. So I've got ammo for this. I've got 40 and plus 80. Oh, so there's an enemy there. Take him out. So you see the little triangles upstairs? Those are friendlies. And as you see, I've got 12 bullets now in my gun. I'm not going to reload it because if I do, then I'm going to end up with a clip with just 12 in it. And I'll end up bringing that clip out at a point where I walk around the corner and there's an enemy there and I don't realise it and I've got no bullets. So there's an enemy there to upstairs and there's an enemy there downstairs to my right. Two enemies here to my right. Take him out, reload. So there's my guy upstairs. Gonna go and clear some upstairs. So it looks like someone here to my right as well, and someone to my left downstairs. Keep an eye, just check around here. So there's two down here. There's one down. Always burst fire as well, so you don't get the gun rising up. And there he is, just right there. Try and take him out. Go upstairs. And I made the mistake there, I had 19 bullets and I ended up reloading. So now. That up. Keep an eye on there. And there's one here to the right and one here downstairs here. These out. I've got 11 bullets plus 19. And you see there the award 500 came up. That's the call to arms. That. So I'm going to push downstairs. Clear it around here. Saw something over there. Careful. Can't 
see where he's gone. We'll keep pushing round. This is with this game is so different. Like there's so many different things you can do. If you want to do first person, you've got this side of it and and Star Marine for so multiplayer, um, which is in the main menu area, which is like a cap the flag type of thing. And then you've got obviously the ship stuff that you can do and your normal living life stuff that you can do. So we're gonna push upstairs and we're gonna try and kill what we can up here. So there's one enemy. Check him out. Uh, I've got 19 bullets left here. Let's keep an eye here and then see if there's anyone here. We've got one here. Take him out. There again, another 500 for that one. And we've got two here, it looks like. Oh. So I killed. Um, so I killed one of my own guys here now, which is uh, not, not what we're supposed to do. And so I've got a gun. Uh, I, need, I need bullets. I need a different gun. Let's press this one. So basically, I've killed one of my own guys. Now I've got a level three crime stat, as you see in the top right corner. And so that's that. Then I've got to be now be careful. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do here now. I'm just going to have a think about it. I'm just going to go around and make sure I clear. So the guy that I killed, my own my own guy, didn't have a thing over his head. So that's why, I don't know if the game glitched out or what, but that, that's the reason I killed him, because he didn't have a thing over his head. And I'm um, uh, a failure to myself, because I've said many a times I don't like having the pointers or the markers over our guys' heads. Because when I first started playing this, the, the pointers wasn't there. The little pointers to show who was the... the um, uh, our own men, our friendlies, and I liked it because I had to work it out, like you would do in in normal life. And yeah, so <laughs> basically, I've done myself in. I want, I, I want it. I don't want them. And then when they're not there, I end up killing my own guy. So I'm probably going to get shot or aimed at by my own men now. But I'm just going to have a quick look round. And what you would do here is look round for boxes to loot. Um, Look at the guns, like I say, you could maybe take off, inspect the gun and take off the ammo and the sights and the, the, the barrels and stuff. So that's something to watch out for. Um, doing some looting and stuff like that. So I'm just going to keep looking around. In some of the bunkers that here, you'll have a place where you can play a crime stat. So you'll be looking for things like this, these medical boxes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the white uh, thing here, put that on my hip, grab that, put it on my side there, but there's five of them, so I'll grab them and put them in um, my um, chest arm. The white thing's not gone, so I'm going to take that and put it in there as well and deal with that later, and I'll grab that and put that there. Okay. So around this area here um, is like a, a computer in some places where you can clear your crime stat, but you need a, a tiger claw hacking key to get to um, to do it, and you can pick those up at Grim Hex. Just keep having a look around, see if any boxes I've missed. And there's another medical box just over there. Uh -huh. So yeah, you can pick up the armour of these guys if you want and loot them. So it doesn't look like they're going to attack me, so I'm alright. Maybe it's because I killed the guys, I don't know. Unless he does want to kill me, I don't know. So, I'm just going to... Oh, I'm not going to kill him, because... Yeah. So, I need to get out of this place, but before I do, I'm going to show you, like, looting the body here. So, if I click on the body and then I go to loot, it will show me his inventory of the body. And what you can do is, if you want all his armor and you haven't got it on, you literally would just, if you've got nothing on, you would just drag the undersuit and it would put everything that that person has on the helmet, the armor and everything. So that's something to watch out for. So I'll just go across and look at different loots of different people. It's up to you if you want to do that. Some people actually bring boxes down here, big, big chests that they create and fill them up and then go sell all the ammo and guns and all that stuff. So it can be a good loot place. 
But if I want to do a big loot of guns, I would take a ship instead down to one of the drug dens like um, Paradise Cove or Raven's Roost or Jump Town. And you can go there and because it's got a local area, you can just move all the guns across and then just move them onto your ship and then go and sell them that way. Much, much faster doing that than coming down here to do them. But um, down here, a good place uh, down here, you can get uh, rail guns, which is good for attacking ships. So, my ship has probably been blown up now. And so what will happen now that I've got a crime stat is people will be able to pick up um, jobs in them tabs that I was just in. They'll be able to pick up the job of coming to get me, to be a bounty hunter to come and get me. And so, basically, I could, I'd be after to watch myself now that anyone could come along and try and get the bounty and kill me. So there you see my ship. We're in smashed up to pieces, by the guns because I killed that guy and got a trespassing warning. So basically, because I got that, that crime start, that's my ship gone. So the, all I can do now is, have, if somebody's in the area, is I could call them to come and get me, or the, the other option is basically just keep hold of backspace, kill myself off, go to prison. And once I've done prison, all the stuff I've got on me, I will retain. So when I come back out of prison, I will still have all that stuff. So that's not going to be my choice. Just hold backspace and down I go. All that stuff that I've got on my body there, I will have when I go to um, finish my time in, in prison. So that's that. That's the bunker mission. As you go along, your rep will go up and you'll get more bunker missions with more, um, uh, more to it and more money involved. But that's the basics of a bunker mission there. So what will happen now is I'm going to wake up here in Kleshna Rehabilitation Facility in Aberdeen, which is in Hurston, and I'm going to have to serve some time. So I'm going to show you about that as well. So just waiting for my character to respawn. Here we go. So we wake up in prison and we have this yellow suit outfit thing on here. And what we have to do is we have to click the the button here, the thing to say we're going to be good and we're going to do some work program. Now, there's a few ways of of doing prison. You wake up in this this area here, and what you'll do is you'll see a thing that a maintenance opportunity has just come up, and you'll see I've got a crime stat three there now in the corner, and on my thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enrol in this work program here, and that the, the door opens, I can go out. So there's three things you can do. You can do the work program. You can go through the maze and escape. You can pick up the, the escape mission. Or you can just log off and wait your time. And when you come back on, as long as your time is passed, the amount of time has passed, you will basically be out of the um, prison. Oh, well, you'll wake up in prison, but you can leave it. So I pick up this uh, in the general tab here. I'll pick up this mission here. Ready so this work mission. And you'll see it comes up here, I've got to repair the O2 kiosk in Route 3, Depth 5. So the oxygen um, kiosk in Route 3, Depth 5. Now, in the personal tab, if um, a mission will come up when you're down in the mines, in this personal area here. But what you have to do is you have to wait for this thing, to this communications thing here to disappear. And once that disappears, it means then they, they can send you over this um, criminal... Um, mission to uh, escape um, the, the prison and get some documents off for some guy that's died in the in the escape route and um, and then once you get out with them documents you'll be pardoned basically so that'll be that'll come up in the personal mission when you're down in the mines so what we've done is we picked up the mine mission like I said you could just wait it out if you wanted to wait it out that's up to you I'm gonna turn my torch on it can be quite dark now you've got to remember you're on a moon as well here, so um, you know you'll you'll move higher. You're like if I jumped here, I could end up jumping over the railings, and if I do jump over the railings, I'll end up on the on, underneath, and I may have to kill myself or try and find a way back up. So always remember you're on a moon. So if you go out in the mines, you can't take your helmet off, and you need oxygen and stuff like that, and you have to get that from the kiosks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to this little terminal here. Where it's got my how long I've got in prison. So this one's not working. I'll go around to the next one. No, it's not working. So I'm going to move over to the next terminal. 
here. Hopefully this one works. You'll know by the finger. There we are. So as you see here, I've got one hour 23 prison time. I've got that sentence extension. Uh, I can't remember why I got that. And then I've got this time served Ready here. And then the next step you can the get merit to bring that time down. And so then you've got obviously your time and your sentence there. Now merits is what is uh, used in here instead of credits. Goes a long way. With merits, you have to do work to get the merits and or people can send you merits. So if I go down to my more trader app here where you can send money to people and I click, uh, I click on begin, You'll see I've got no merits there, and um, whatever uh, and whatever credits, uh, two, you know, two hundred thousand credits. So if I click begin on this, and then pick somebody, like say Peeper here, if I pick Peeper, and you can see then I've got the AUC tab here. So what I can do is, if I want to send Peeper some merits, I'll just check check that, click merits instead, and then put the amount of merits I want to send to him, and then click the send. And so that's a way of sending merits to people. So if somebody is in prison and you've got spare you merits, wonder, you can send them to the people and they can use that to get out of prison quicker themselves. So I've got this mission here, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the escape route, how to get out the escape route. So around here somewhere there's a fan that we're going to look for. And I think it's over, not there, not there, over there. I think it's over there. And what you've got to do is you've got to go down here towards the mines. And this it doesn't matter whether you pick the job up or whether you just want to try and escape because someone's going to come and get you at the other end. And what you do is there's a security office here on the right and you just press F and then zoom in and scroll your mouse and you'll get numbers then that you um, have to use to go to the fan, stop the fan running. And once the fan stops running, there's a broken blade on it that you have to get through. Now the servers have been playing up here, so um, I'm not too sure if it'll work. You see some guy here killed himself trying to do it. So let's put in these numbers. I remember it was a moon so I can jump over the banister thing. So you click that and it says open, but the fan's not stopping. Now that's something to do with the server itself and hopefully they're gonna fix that. But Generally, normally the, the fan will, you can see just now and then that the broken blade, the, the, the fan will stop and the broken blade will be there and you'll just go through it and then you'll go into the tunnels and then basically it's just like um, if you go into a mining cave, you'll be like jumping puzzles where you've got to jump from, from ledges and stuff like that. Now you can go through the tunnels, escape the other end and have someone pick you up but it's uh, or grab it, get in one of the vehicles that are parked up at the other end and work your way around to get someone to pick you up when you're out of the area. Or the other one where it's obviously pick up the mission when you haven't got the communication icon. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to do the legal route and we're going to go and do some hard labour basically. And as you see across the other end, that's where you'll end up leaving the prison. And when you leave the prison, what you'll do is you'll end up back on um, Everest Harbour Space Station floating above Hurston. So you've got the way in there and then you've got the way out here. And so you've got these little kiosks here, the commissary uh, kiosks where you can buy stuff. So once you've got merits, you can start buying stuff from these commissaries. So let's have a look at this so you can see... So you can buy med pens, oxygen pens, because you obviously need oxygen in there, water, uh, food, and pyro multi-tool. But you've got a multi-tool anyway, but you can buy one. And that one care means merits. That's merits that, you, that you'll be paying, not, not um, credits. So I've got no merits, so I can't buy that. So yeah, so we'll come off that and um, we'll go around and, and I'll show you. Um, it doesn't show me merits on there anywhere, so so let's go outside here and start in the working mines and, and start explaining around this area for you. So, uh, look, remember you need your helmet on or she'll just suffocate out here. So as you come around here, round this side here is where you go back into the um, back into the bit into the prison section. There used to be. The, um, some terminals here that you used to sell stuff 
So you'd have to drop off any mining stuff that you'd done, um, or, or, or give up your contraband if you had any contrabands. Like if you got a gun out there or knives or whatever, you'd have to give it all up and put it in one of these little kiosk things. But for some reason in 318, they seem to have got rid of them. So let's head back out and let's explain this, um, this mission I've got. Not too sure why those have disappeared. But there was up here. There used to be a, like along here. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me why they. You know, have, is, is that the plan that they, they're missing? I don't know. There's also um, a, a boxing ring down here as well, so people can have fights down here. Yeah, I think it's down in Route One. So Route Three, we've got. So you've got three routes. You've got Route One down there. You've got Route Two down here, and then the route we need, Route Three, over here. And so once you get to your route then you know you've got to go down five depth for it. So what you're going to look up above um, each tunnel that you come into, there'll be a, a number above it. And basically, you've got to keep going until you find them five. So let's turn my torch on. And you'll find things around here, like these rocks here. And you, so you can mine. And you can see someone's mined here and left all these rocks. And those rocks there, those this um, dolphin mine or whatever it is there, will knocks time off your sentence they'll be worth credits or merits and they'll knock time off your sentence so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick all these up i'm just going to click store on them all and i'm just going to store all these into my backpack and then i'll i'll um, use them for merits later on so don't pass these up if you ever see these lying around because someone's done the work just pick them up and use them And this is basically the similar thing to, or the same thing, as when you go mining in the caves. So one of the videos I'll do on this guide is uh, cave mining with the handheld multi-tool and picking up um, uh, stuff to, to sell, basically. How to mine the rocks. So this rock here at the side of me is where all this dopamines, dopamines come from. And what you would do is you aim at this um, thing. You can customize it. Have a look here. I hold an F and you'll see I've got a, a mining attachment to it. And you know with the multi-tool you can have a tractor beam, you can have medical, and you can have a salvage beam um, thing on it attachment. So I've got this one's got the um, mining attachment. And when you aim at something that can be mined, it will come up with all the information of that. And then you just hit your trigger and then you've got to get... Um, a bar that rises into a certain area. I'll show you that in a second. I'm just messing around with it at the moment. So I'm going to put this away. And you'll see there's another rock over here. And when I aim it, it will tell me what's in the rock and just you know, statistics about the rock. So this is Aphorite. And... Um, I'm not too sure what the weight and all that stuff are for. Uh, I think it's like density and, and stuff like that. And what you've got to do is you've got, you've got this area here. And what you've got to do is there'll be a thing that will rise from the bottom. And you've got to keep it in this area until that area gets filled with green. So I'll turn my torch off so you can see it better. And once it goes in there and fills with green, then the rock will explode and, or break up. But if you have red in it, the rock will explode and could injure you. So you need to be careful. So let's point at it and then hit fire. And what you'll do is you'll roll your mouse wheel up. And you'll see on the, the gun um, head thing there that it's 30, 46, 54. That's the power of your laser. And the, the more power you've got, the faster the line will travel up on the left-hand side there. And so what you need to do is back that off once you get into the green area or near the green area so that it doesn't end up... Um, going into the red and blowing the rock off. As you see now, I'm just about to go into the red. So I'm going to have to back off the rock and let that red just calm itself down. As you see there, it's still going up too fast. So I'm going to have to come off that again. Let that red drop down a bit. I don't want that red on it, basically. So turn it back on. But now you'll see that I'm out of that green zone. The green is dropping down and I need that white uh, arrow to come back up to it. So 
So I'll push it up, and then once it gets near, it start pulling it down with the mouse wheel. So I'll stop it going into that red. It's gone in a bit, so I'll pull it down and let that red just drop, drop itself out. Because you don't want that red to be in, uh, any red in that top section, or else it will blow the, the rock off. And once it's done, the rock should explode there or break up, but because of the lag or whatever's going on, it's not done that. And there you go. So that's broken up now, that rock, and then all that all that um, aphorite will just, just come out of it, and you can pick that up. And again, you can use that, either sell it, um, when you're doing mining in the in the caves, or in our in our case at this moment, um, we're going to use that to to um, knock time off. I'll leave all that there. And maybe pick that up later because I want to just move on and show you the the oxygen kiosk thing that I was doing. And you see down at the bottom there, my oxygen is 85, so you do have to be careful that you don't run out of oxygen down here. And the kiosks that I'm fixing, you see another rock there to mine. The kiosks that I'm fixing, you can get oxygen from. So there's a number, and on the back of that will be uh, a green number, a green exit sign as well. So when you're coming back, you know which way to go. And what we're doing now is we're going to look above the doors and look for the next way, the next route, which is number two, which is over there. Now there's that contraband thing that I was talking about, where you can drop your contraband stuff, your knives, and you know any weapons and stuff that you've got. You basically just drop them in here so you don't end up adding time if you get caught with them. So this is where you will drop them basically. Because you don't if you get caught with stuff trying to escape or whatever, you get more time added on. And there's a, an NPC there just down here doing his own thing. So here's the ore deposit thing. So what we can do is drop our rocks into here. And as you see here, so Dolvine uh, is 250 merits, and we've got eight units. Um, and the Aphorite 2 units, which is 60 merits, we've got two of those, two which comes to 120. And that will knock time off um, our sentence, basically, once that process is. So again, because this is um, having issues with these terminals, it might just take a little bit of time, but we got it, we're good. And then that will we'll come off that and go back onto it. And you'll see now that I've got um, an amount of merit contribution added to knock my time off and now we're down to 35 minutes on my time at my prison sentence so number two head down here and as a turn around you'll see there's an exit sign so that's what you'll be looking for when you come back nice green glowing exit sign he's going to go and do some work down here he's been a naughty boy as well somebody's left all the stuff down here and we'll just keep going down now until we find depth five basically and find this kiosk in it and like I said, remember you're on a moon, so when you jump and stuff, it's gonna be a bit, you know, you jump higher and faster. So look back, there's the exit sign, and then we'll look for number three, and head down here. Now, the deeper you go, the more merits you'll get to use off your time. And around these areas, I've found people leave bottles and stuff around these areas, and like that's where you'll find the rocks to mine as well. So there's number three. So if we went down to like 11 or something, that would mass take a massive chunk of time off your sentence as well. So where are we looking at now? Number four. So we're in route four now, uh, depth four. Just checking my oxygen. Coming out of four. And there's the exit. Now we're looking for number five, which is there. And down here at number five, we'll find like a little kiosk that we've got to mend. And there it is. So you see there, it's got a red screen, so we just got a vent. And that will vent that and then give us some merits, basically. And then what will happen once you've done that, you'll see another one, another contract comes up that you can do. So you can pick that one up by pressing your left bracket or going into your F1. And picking it up so we got 2000 merits for that so normally this has got no oxygen in it but normally you would resupply your oxygen at these machines you click it and the red would go down and your white would go up basically until you've got your your thing full and that then basically then once you're full you basically come off it and 
you've got more oxygen. But we, I think we've got about 60 yards left, so we should be fine. So we're going to head back now, looking for the exit signs and stuff as we go along. There's some dude again still around here. They've only just introduced NPCs down here in, in 3.18, so they're new. Normally, you'd just be down here by yourself. Or you, if you did see anybody, it'd be a normal person, like a, a real-world person. Let's keep looking for them exit signs. You'll see as you come into it, you'll see the glowing green straight across there. And then there's another contract there, maintenance opportunity again. But we don't need to pick it up because we've pretty much done our time, I think. We'll just keep going to the exit. So this gives me a chance today. Um, today. I've shown you bunkers and I've shown you the prison system. And I didn't show you trying to escape from prison, but that is a bit more complex and something you can look into and watch videos on um, later on if you do want to do that. But for now, I just wanted to show you the prison as well. So you're not scared of going to prison when you get a crime stat. It's pretty easy coming down here and doing this stuff. And sometimes it's a good gameplay loop as well. Let's check the oxygen, 58, we're good still. and peaceful down here so here we are back over now to the end of it like i said there used to be uh, the the thing here for dropping off your minerals but um yes yeah, for some reason they've moved it so everybody's fine it's all good pretty easy stuff to do And what I'll do is I'll come over to the kiosks over here and you'll see how many, mer how many merits I've got now. So I've got 4,120 credits, merits should I say, here that I can use. So if I wanted to buy stuff here I could, or if I wanted to send stuff to people I could. Like I said, sometimes some people like the game loop down here of doing that, like doing the mining and stuff like that. So, you know, they, not, not, not everybody wants to, to get out. A lot of people could use this as a game loop that they just like to play. And so, Thanks if I go to this thing here to see my time now, a percentage of all your hard work goes towards helping those less fortunate. Together, no, 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 we wrong. can turn your wrongs sense. into a whole lot of Not too sure why they don't work. They normally all do. And as you see, the congratulations, you're eligible for release. Report to the processing, which is what I showed you earlier, across from from where we went into the mines. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got four thousand credits. I'm going to send Kilthanis. A thousand merits, which is obviously going to take it off me and give me more time in prison. But I just wanted to show you that part of it. So, so I'll kill. No, 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 not that one. Kill Thanis. There we are. So what I'll do is I'm going to send him a thousand merits. Bum, bum, bum. It's going to cost me a thousand five minutes. Ready to take the next step on the road to rehabilitation. And so I sent them to him, so he's got their merits now. Think about how you can make amends for all the and wrongs you've done. And as I go back to the my inmate information, you'll see now I've only got three thousand one hundred, and basically them thousand merits cost me twelve minutes. So I have to now go and get them twelve minutes back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back and go and do uh, pick up that dog, dog the aphorite, should I say? So once I've got uh, once I've got my time down, what you do is you'll go to inmate processing here, and you'll basically go through that lift there at the end. And then once you go into that thing at the end there, you'll go into a lift, and the screen will go black, and you'll just wake up in Everest Harbour basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back down here again, and I'm going to go and pick up these rocks, put them in the thing, show you that section again. Actually, I don't need to show you that section again. Um, and so, so what I'll do is actually I'll fast forward this from here to where I'm just about to be released again. So here we go. Um, basically, I um, waited out the time a bit. And so I've got 10 seconds left here now. 
So I'll just wait out these 10 seconds and then you'll see that that I can be released. There we are. Congratulations, you're eligible for release. Um, go to inmate processing. So inmate processing is just over here, as you see. And what we can do is we can then head down through here and into this door here. Let's go in there. And then you've got these two lifts here with the big gun above. And if you get in these lifts, it'll turn black and you'll end up back in prison with some more time. So don't try escaping because it don't work. Now, unfortunately, these lifts are broke for some reason. I don't know why there's a bug, but these lifts are broke and uh, a lot of people seem to be having issues with them. So there's nothing we can do at the moment with that. So what would happen is you click this, the lift would open, you get in and it's just a one button that says to the surface. You click that, the screen goes black and you wake up in Everest Harbour. That's basically it. And then you would have all the stuff that you died with back when we did the bunker earlier. So obviously I can't show you that because of the issues we're having with this patch, but that's all that happens anyway. And if you do come into prison, that part of it's not important. You've seen the main aspects of it. So yeah, so that being said, we um, have shown you the bunkers and then going to prison. So you get an idea of that. Uh, as part of the starter guide so yeah so we hope you like this video guys don't forget um to use that code that's come down above if you're new to star citizen and push us up in them rankings and don't forget to take that pointer guys and tickle that like button and that bell and subscribe for more notif uh, notification for, for more videos and um yeah guys i really enjoyed this one we'll see you out in the verse